I notice in many researchers that they refuse to leave their societal commitments at the entrance of the university building. The same goes for me. I experienced twice what it's like to have your life hanging by a thread. Once due to a serious accident and once due to a violent robbery. As a result, every day feels like a gift and that's why I want to make the most of it. Not only for myself, but for others as well. In my work, this is reflected by the fact that I keep on wondering how to ensure that innovations in science and technology really make a positive contribution to people's lives. Many scholars in science and technology studies ask this question, but still the research often takes place at a considerable distance from the making of scientific and technological practices. This has always puzzled me. I think you can achieve and learn much more by taking part in such development processes. This combination of contributing to developments in science and technology, and thereby really learning about societal issues, for me is at the core of what we do at the Athena Institute. Emerging technologies often have the potential to contribute to solving societal issues, but it is not a given that those promises will actually be fulfilled, especially because it requires a lot of efforts from many different actors. Learning evaluations can help in this respect. An example is our research into technologies that support people with disabilities to become sustainably employed. One of these technologies is the speech recognition system Speaksy, which ensures that people with little or no hearing can still fully participate in a work environment. Speaksy converts speech into text in real time, enabling people with hearing disabilities to independently take part in group discussions. The Dutch employee insurance agency deployed this technology as a pilot within Marshall's team, in which one of his colleagues has a hearing disability. Our learning evaluation showed that colleagues started to talk faster, often too fast, because they assumed that the colleague with the hearing disability could now easily follow all conversations. The developer and us, the research team, immediately started to search for a solution within the technology. For example, by making the microphones vibrate if people would speak too fast. But Marcel, the team leader, had a completely different idea. I often took a break during team meetings to ask Sangeeta if she could follow the conversation and summarize what just had been said. Sangeeta really became part of the team. Besides, it's a very simple and logical adjustment. I noticed that the researchers at Athena embraced my ideas and tried to take them to the next level. Thanks to Marcel's idea of adapting sociocultural conventions instead of technology, we suddenly noticed that there is always a technical manual included in such products, but a sociocultural manual is missing, while this is incredibly important to achieve the promised inclusion. That is why we are now doing research to collect more of these lessons and incorporate them in a sociocultural manual for Speaksy. This way we hope to ensure that these kinds of solutions are also shared more broadly. The importance of supporting and adjusting technological developments also shows from historical analyses which we carry out within the Athena Institute. For example, the phonograph was initially not meant to play music. The instrument was designed as a dictaphone to record speech so that it could then be typed out. With that, it could have been a precursor of Speaksy. However, the application of music player turned out to be much more profitable and that determined the further development of this particular technology. Historical research hence often shows how things went differently or could have developed differently. Thus, it makes you aware of all kinds of implicit assumptions that we have about technological development. In this case, it shows that promises are not automatically fulfilled because there's a great tendency to make an inclusive product primarily a commercial success. In order to influence these dynamics and fulfill the promise of inclusion, you need the commitment of many actors and therefore also innovative methods to involve them. In our project on smart technology development in the city, we created a board game and an interactive theater performance to initiate a rich dialogue between citizens, the municipality and technology developers. It's a challenge to engage all these parties, as they do not get together very often and think differently. 
With the board game, we look at how citizens see the future of smart technology. What are the preconditions? Through interactive theater, we bring everybody together to explore the differences between their views and the reasons behind them. These playful methods ensure that everyone can easily participate, stimulate your imagination, help to empathize with others, and thus spark new conversations. It is crucial to involve users in such development processes, to make sure that innovations meet societal needs. As so much early technology development takes place at universities, especially there we need to pay attention to the societal side of innovation. That provides space for societally relevant innovations, and that is exactly what we do in the Demonstrator Lab. Innovation doesn't take place in isolation, which is why we are building a community of entrepreneurs here. Just like in our research at Athena, always look for the different parties involved. This way we learn from each other about what works and what doesn't, and we can tackle innovation barriers at an early stage. By starting at the beginning, we make innovation more effective and reflective. You do the right things for the right reasons for the right people. So that's what it all takes to steer technology development in early and later stages and not fall into empty promises. For that, transdisciplinary methods which allow researchers to really work alongside developers, people with disabilities, citizens in the digitizing city, entrepreneurs and policymakers are indispensable. Athena's research does not stop at the entrance of the university building. It really has a place in society, just like all our researchers. As a result, we are always learning just as much as everyone else involved in these innovation processes. This helps us to ensure that technological developments make an actual positive contribution to people's lives. Als je maar wil. Wil je het wel, Geert? Wil je het wel? Als je maar je best doet, ja, wil je het wel. I noticed that the researchers at, at, in, at 